Member of Parliament for the South Dying constituency, Roxanne Nelson de Femepo, who actually filed a suit, says that three arms of government works hand in hand while recognizing the suppression of powers. Hence, no arm of government can be run as a sole proprietorship. Meanwhile, Member of Parliament for the Anya Soltum constituency, Dixon Adumako Kisi, says that the president is abiding by the laws in the country, and this follows the presidency's letter to Parliament asking that no bill should be sent for the uh, for assent until the LG until legal challenges against uh, the LGBTQ are dealt with. They both spoke on Good Morning Ghana. So the president will receive. The, the remittal containing the bill and acknowledge in the language that you just said mm -hmm. that I hereby acknowledge receipt of the bill number this, 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 in respect of this legislation. However, as you may be aware, there are two actions pending in the Supreme Court regarding the status of this, this matter. Mm. So in the spirit of upholding the law, May we all abide the outcome. This is how you communicate. And, and is, that, is that what the constitutional provisions um, provide? No, it does not. That is not what the constitutional provision provides. But it's a better way of communicating your grievance. If you appreciate what I'm saying. Mm. It's a better way of drawing attention to matters that are sub -judice. To the issue then because the constitution didn't provide the procedure when this spring into life we have recourse to case law because this matters supreme court have had cause to pronounce on them all in all one thing that is key and i need to express it here that the president by no means will disrespect parliament the president will not disregard the function and role that the parliament or the other arm of government does. And, and, and I thought that agreeing or allowing the Supreme Court to also weigh in on this issue was rather showing that, listen, there are three arms. Le legislative arm has had their way. On this particular issue, let's also hear what the Supreme Court also has to say, so that all three arms of government will have input in this matter. I, I think that the president was abiding by the laws of the country.